grand rising all and welcome to the good witch please remember to like share and subscribe this is a daily intuitive tarot read and if you are new to the channel welcome welcome if you are returning thank you thank you um i want to start off by saying that like i said this is a daily read I don't put dates because I feel like you'll be guided to see it, the date you're guided to see it, and it's meant for that day. If you just so happen to see it today, that means you're in tune with the collective of people who view this video on this day, no matter what day that is, okay? Um, these readings are, are short, sweet, and to the point. Thank you guys for not holding it against me that I did not do daily readings last week as it was my Earth Week and I celebrate my Earth Day like it's my new year. Because it is. Um, so, what's going on today... It seems that quite a few of you... The collective were stuck in a decision. You were trying to decide between about three things. Three things that could have made vast differences in your life. Like this wasn't, am I going to have spinach or broccoli for dinner? This is, should I take the job in Atlanta or should I stay in my marriage in New York because I can't, my family doesn't want to relocate type decisions. These were big decisions. These were, do I follow my heart, my mind, or my money decisions. So you went into kind of a, you went into a hermit mode. You went into a reclusive mode. You went, tried to go within. And I think one of the last times I was on to do a daily read, I told some people to go with it. I'll have to go back and look, but I'm certain I did. Um, so you actually followed the advice and you went within. And you tried to clear out the thoughts that weren't your own. You tried to clear out the thoughts that you were given by other people in other situations. And you've been moderately successful. You feel clearer. You're not 100% there, but you're a lot better than you were. So you're out. You're still slightly confused about what decisions that you need to make. But now you're, you're calmer. You're less anxious. That's a great thing because you don't want to make one of those decisions based off of the element of fear. You want to make those decisions based off of love and intellect. God is love, but God is also smart. God God gave you intellect and a heart. You're supposed to combine those things. They're not supposed to be battling against each other. So what I see for you is I see you coming into today, hopefully, Today or tomorrow, like in the very near future, I see you coming into a truce with yourself. I see you forgiving yourself for things that you didn't even realize that you were holding against yourself. I think some of you should try journaling. Just sit and scribe by yourself. Just sit and journal and figure out what's holding you. But don't do it for any reason. Just start writing. Just start writing. I'm not even going to tell you what I was going to tell you. I just want you to look, pick up a piece of paper, a notebook, and just start writing for like the next couple days. And you'll see all those things that you were holding against yourself that you didn't realize you were holding against yourself. And I see you coming into stability due to a truce that you made with you. And once you have that peace, your decision making will be, it'll be easy. And you'll make the right one. But first you have to come into that truth with yourself. I love that you've come out of hermit mode and you're letting those people that love you back in. 
Because when I say go into yourself or retreat within to yourself, that doesn't mean kick people out of your life that love you and care for you. That doesn't mean, that means, that means that you go into your own thoughts, that you take some time to yourself throughout the day. In some cases, it means you go sit by yourself for a while if you're surrounded by toxic people, but that's not what I'm sensing. I'm sensing that you locked yourself off from people that actually loved you and want love you, not love, they still do, love you and want to help you because you felt trapped and they understood. They understood, they're not upset with you. I think you're more so upset with yourself and you have a lot of fear and anxiety. But you're getting ready to come into this truce with yourself and you're gonna forgive yourself and you're gonna make the best decision for you. If this is really resonating with you and you feel like you need a personal reading, please go to my website, thegoodwitch.com or send me an email at thegoodwitch at gmail.com. It's really simple. And we will get one for you. I'm going to um, set up some less inclusive readings, some smaller ones for my subscribers who can't afford a full reading. We're going to do something different for you, and that's coming. If that's your situation, still send me an email, okay? Because my purpose was to help. Is to help. Let's see what my moon oracle cards have for you. What's your advice for the collective today? No? Yeah, forgive me because I do talk to my dicks like they're people sometimes. I try not to do it on camera, but I do talk to them like they're people. Okay, 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 understood. Your hard work is paying off. You don't see it. New moon in Capricorn, but the for the collective, your hard work is paying off this decision that you're struggling with. You've been working hard for something. You're coming out, you went into yourself, you did the work, you put in the work to you. You're making the truce with yourself. You're doing your journaling. Your hard work is paying off. You don't see it. You don't see the light at the end of the, you don't see the light around the edge of the new moon. You don't, you think it's all darkness, but there's light right there. It's coming. It's coming quicker than you think. Just keep pushing towards it. Don't stop pushing it. But make sure you're pushing in the right direction. It's not time to walk away from your thoughts or your dreams or your goals. It's coming, okay? So your hard work is paying off. And at the bottom of that deck, it says, what do you need to release? Like I said, you're gonna have to forgive yourself for some things, but your hard work is paying off, but you're gonna need to release some things. Ooh. I could do that later on today. I'm going to do a reading later on today. I'm putting my mind to it. Later on, well, I say today, meaning tonight for me. I do a lot of my readings at about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning if they're not the daily readings. So, we'll do a what do you need to release pick a card reading, okay? Let me leave this out so I don't, I won't forget. Okay, so I will see you next time. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know if it resonated in the bottom. Um in the comment section let me know if there's any other type of readings that you would like to do any information that you would like for me to leave for you all i love you peace and blessings again as i'm leaving welcome to the good witch peace